Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for July 5th, 2023, from Proverbs chapter 29, verse 22. A man of wrath stirs up strife, and one given to anger causes much transgression. So this proverb warns against anger, whereas anger will lead to sin, and sin will continue to lead a person away from God. Paul notes in the New Testament that we should try to get rid of all bitterness and anger. And I may, if I may add, this is extremely challenging for us to do because of our sinful nature. Verse 23, one's pride will bring him low, but he who is lowly in spirit will obtain honor. Humility is very important for us to have, as the Bible notes, and it may surprise us that Moses, whom God used to lead the people of Israel from slavery in Egypt into the promised land, was considered to be the meekest person upon the earth, whereas pride has no room in the heart for God or others. So God will strike those who have pride down, whereas those who are humble. God has, now has room in their heart for God, and now God showers his grace and mercy. Verse 24, the partner of a thief hates his own life. He hears the curse, but discloses nothing. The partner or the accomplice of the thief is just as guilty from God's view as the thief himself. And this is why the accomplice sort of hates his life because he is dooming himself because he is still guilty. Even though he's silent, he thinks he can get away with it. However, God knows the heart and God knows the intentions of the heart. So the accomplice is just as guilty as the actual thief. Verse 25, the fear of man lays a snare, but whoever trusts in the Lord is safe. Fear does indeed set a trap for ourselves. And this is why Jesus reminds us not to give in to the fear of the world, but to put our faith and trust in God alone. Because when we trust in God, we realize that God will keep us safe. He has prepared a place for us in heaven above by the person and work of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Thanks be to God. Verse 26, many may seek the face of of a ruler, but it is from the Lord that a man gets justice. And this is one of those good proverbs to remember. There will never be a world that is perfect, where a justice system is completely perfect. There will always be injustice in today's world. So we need to look to God and we should continue to pray to God for help in this world and for, to pray to God to continue to guide our leaders and the people who serve us in all forms of government. They need our prayers because there is no perfect world. Verse 27, an unjust man is an abomination to the righteous, but one whose way is straight is an abomination to the wicked. Wow, this proverb shows the tensions between Christians and the world, those who are not following Christ. The reason for this is that Christians follow and respect the law of God. And the law of God shows us our sins and then reminds us we need a savior. Jesus Christ is that savior. But when the world sees us following the law of God, it reminds them of their sins and their consciences begin to bother them because they have no savior. So with the bothered conscience, with all that anger and frustration, they lash out at Christians. Not very comforting for us as Christians, but when they lash out against us, it reminds us that we do have a savior who loves us, even though the world does not love us. God's peace and many blessings be with you. And thank you for listening. And please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 
24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.